All right, guys, I wanted to put a quick video together. Um, when we did the debut of the race car, when we got it back, we actually stopped at a lot of vendors. So uh, took some video there, you know, pulling up to some of the places, you know, we were invited to a barbecue over in Clutch Masters. So I wanted to, uh, I didn't get to put up that footage, which I have. And also the footage of when we went to visit Abo Flocko Racing and his R100, we shot some video there of both cars together. So I wanted to assemble all that. Just show you guys some of the different places that we went to see. You get to see Abel's car and uh, hopefully the comeback of his R100 too, which is actually almost ready. He's actually a lot further along than we are because uh, his chassis, his paint, everything is, is basically ready to go. He had to update the chassis a bit but he's done that already. Um, next thing for him is just test compared to what we have to do. So uh, check out the video and um, just, again, nothing, you know, just checking out some of the vendors. It was pretty cool seeing everybody um, pulling up there with the car, letting them see the car. Some of them never seen it before. Uh, a lot of guys seen it in magazines and knew about it, but it was just different, different experience to actually witness the car in person. Also, we got this little clip here of when the motor actually came back because we got a lot of questions asking if we got it back with the motor, which we did. So you can check it out now when the motor arrived. Actually, about four months, probably back in January, February this year, the motor arrived first. So check it out. It's kind of crazy how history kind of repeats itself. And... Um, Man, we're pretty excited to see actually this come back to us. And uh, this is the beginning of the other videos that are soon to follow. But check this out. This is uh, our original 3S platform. There's our original G-Force we used to run in our AE86. And yeah, it kind of all made it back. Let's see what's... Kind of stuck here but here you can see the old intake manifold we used to run force ignition was a good buddy of ours um god rest his soul he passed away a couple years ago uh for cfi he used he's actually the one that got us started on haltech um fortunately he passed away a couple years ago from cancer i'm um, very sad situation man but uh clutch masters seven and a quarter and just crazy 15 years man and it's back there's a pretty cool cylinder head down there I'll shoot some video of that once I get it out also time to get all this stuff off the pallet check it out all the way in California Woo! Got to make sure we get all the video we can in front of all the people we deal with. Because we don't know if we'll ever make it back out to California because all of our races are over on the East Coast. I'm looking for the Toyota cams in here. The 3S. They should be all on these shelves. Wrong one. Look at all these little guys right here. For like Jeez, they're tiny. Man, look at that banner. I know. But Is me, it nice? Yeah, let me have it packed up. Oh, there's two of them there. There's a few of them here. Do you want two? Yeah, it's fine. Alright, today's stop is Clutch Masters. They're inviting us here for a barbecue, so we gotta figure out where we could where the hell are we gonna put the race car. We got the race car back there. You've arrived. few stickers that survived <laughs> I'm the dress that gets us to the home. 
رو پای اومد just for now until we rewrap it and do what we need to do but happy to be out here visiting clutch masters with the car California Saturday at uh, one o'clock and uh, we made it to Kentucky today it is Monday morning drove straight through all night two nights really <laughs> and got to uh, Kentucky this morning at about 6 a.m. it's about 11 10 right now and we're heading over to Haltech never been there um, gonna be cool to check out their place and talk to all the guys and uh, I want them to check out the car so they could see the transformation from now until we get it all rebuilt and updated to what it needs to be to today's standards so uh nice around here check out so we're pulling up there in the next eight minutes it says so Coming up after this, we're gonna do a quick little video of the disassembly. We've been working on the car, taking it apart, show you guys what we're gonna do. Um, wheels and tires are out, so we'll give you a briefing up on that. And we have this other video coming up as well. 
of this Beams Altiza motor in a Corolla, in a TE27 Corolla that we're actually going to start wiring right now. Um, already got the header all done for it and stuff like that, custom header. It's got 50 millimeter ITBs, I believe. These came from EFI Hardware. I don't know if you can see the name there real quick. But uh, got to get this finished up. We've had it in the shop for a while, just trying to get a bunch of other things done. And again, with the move, just slow us all down. Um, engine builds we got to catch up on. So videos will start cranking out again. All right, stay tuned.